hey guys it's dr v again welcome back to my channel i hope you guys have been amazing all right so i want to say thank you to all of you guys that have subscribed to my channel you guys are like you are sweet thank you so much for the support i really appreciate it and if today's your first time here on this channel i know that by the time you finish watching this video you will know that you are meant to be a part of us yes don't forget to hit on that subscribe icon at the end of this video all right i just encourage you to watch to the end and if you have been passing by and you have not subscribed you have done to watch our videos and passing stop passing subscribe to this channel and become a part of us yes you're supposed to be here all right so guys um today i'm going to be talking about um a popular question um so ladies gather we need to talk so <laughs> So today i'm going to be talking about various vaginal discharges and what they might mean so guys come along with me in this video as i get right into it step one wake up really gonna rise with the sun step all right so the first thing that i need to clear in this space is that and see your vagina is not supposed to be dry <laughs> because if your vagina is dry like your skin ah there's problem oh no your vagina is not supposed to be dry so Actually, the vagina keeps secreting fluid, so it is actually supposed to be wet. Yes, so it is normal for your vagina to be secreting some fluid. Now, there are some fluid that are normal, some discharges are normal. For example, when you are secreting a clear fluid, it is normal, there's nothing wrong with you. Most times, it has those vagina smells, those normal vagina smells. So, if you are yet to watch that video where I talked about the various vagina smell and what they mean, this is just the best time for you to actually click on the link above and watch that video. I'm also going to leave the link in the description box so that you can actually get to watch it and be able to get the complete picture of this discussion. Right. Another is a clear or a thin whitish discharge from the vagina you don't need to be worried about that you it's just one of those normal vagina discharges however if it becomes thick if you are producing like this thick whitish vagina discharge that is cheese like that now has this yeasty smell and see you might just be having what we call vagina candidiasis which is a form of a fungal infection so you need to get to the hospital and get treated okay all right so the next one is what your vagina discharge now when a person is sexually aroused your vagina actually secretes some fluids and most are usually like watering so when you're experiencing that um you don't need to be worried it's just um, a normal vagina discharge sometimes when a person is ovulating so you could also produce such kind of vagina discharge so there's no need for you to be worried another is jelly like vagina discharge when you have um Vagina discharge that initially it can be like the egg white, you know, like the white part of it, the transparent part of egg, you know, not boiled up. I mean the um, raw egg when you break it, that liquid part of it, yes, it can look like that. So when you see something like that coming out of your vagina, see, you don't need to be worried. Sometimes it can even thicken up and it's now feel like a gel and be raw green. When you see that, it is nothing to be worried about. It just tells you that you are ovulating. So if you don't want to get belly arrange yourself very well because your body is ready to catch baby if you just do any mm -hmm. pregnancy has stayed here all right so but now when we're talking about the ones that we should be worried about now i already talked about that cheese like one that suggests a fungal infection now the next one is when you're having a grayish or a yellowish vagina discharge now it could suggest that you might be having what we call bacterial vaginosis or trichomoniasis now in in that previous video i told you that those two conditions they are not sexually transmitted however they can cause vagina infections so in a situation like that especially when they are now accompanied by a fishy smell you should just know that okay this is what you are dealing with and you should get to the hospital to be properly treated another thing that will cause a yellowish or greenish vagina discharge is stds like your gonorrhea your chlamydia so if you are producing any of those colors of vagina discharge with a foul smell and maybe with some other accompanying symptoms like pain when you are urinating pain when you are having sex 
you should actually get to the hospital to be properly treated or you are now running temperature and stuff like that you should actually get to the hospital to get properly treated because it might just it might be that you have an std or maybe it's even already advancing to what we call pelvic inflammatory disease okay so get yourself properly treated on time now there are some other vaginal discharges like um brownish vaginal discharge now you could actually see this either at the end of your menses or maybe at the beginning sometimes it just tells you that oh your menses is on the way or you are or it shows that you have just wrapped up your period so like even after your period some a day or two you might still have some small small brownish but it just tells us that um your menses is ending you get so you don't need to be worried about that now Another one is the pink banana discharge. This is just like maybe people that they are menstruating for the first time. Menarche. We call it menarche. So in some person, the first um, thing that they might see will be like um, a pink banana discharge. So they don't have to be worried because it just tells you that you are about to have a full, a full blown period. So when you see that, you don't need to be so worried about it. So majorly, these are like the very common banana discharge. I'm sure you don't expect me to be telling you reddish because all of us know what reddish means it means that you are menstruating and see and so there's nothing around that but i just want to mention here that if peradventure a person is pregnant or maybe you are menopausal like you have not menstruated in a, you have not had your period in a long time and then suddenly you start having this brownish vaginal discharge out of the blues you should actually be concerned. You should you should actually get to the office to find out why that may be happening, so that you can be properly checked. And if there's anything, you can be properly treated. And if there's nothing, your mind can be put at rest. Because sometimes that in pregnancy might actually suggest that there's an imminent miscarriage that is about to happen. So and getting to the hospital early might be able to prevent. Um, the miscarriage from happening so this is how i'm going to be ending this video today and um, i'm sure you've learned a thing or two so feel free to share to like and also to comment drop your comments in the comment section i'm going to respond to them and till i see you guys again make sure you stay safe and you stay healthy bye